Today, we will take a look at just how much fresh water is on Earth and the real threat of shortages in the future. Thank you for watching. Let's begin. Water is one of the most simple, yet one of the most important resources on Earth. It plays a major role in every living thing on the planet. About 70% of the Earth is covered in water. But just how much of that is fresh water? Well, the answer is surprisingly low. A mere 3% of the water on Earth is fresh water, and roughly 2% of that water is inaccessible because it is either locked away in glaciers, frozen in land ice, in the atmosphere, or hidden deep underground. That means just 1% of the Earth's fresh water is available and accessible to us in rivers, lakes, ponds, streams, and in the ground. Surprisingly, the amount of fresh water on Earth is staying consistent. But concerns arise as the world's population continues to increase. This leaves more and more people trying to survive off the same 1% of fresh water. This eventually will lead to shortages as the demands for water grow. And at this point, there will likely even be conflict simply over water. This is not a pleasant future to think about, but it is a real concern. One that has been recognized by multiple organizations who have warned that we will begin to experience water shortages by 2050. Others say it will be closer to 2040. Either way, this is certainly bad news for the future. Yet, it is something that is not mentioned or thought of very often. In less than 20 years, we could potentially start facing serious water shortages around the world. So why is this not brought up more? This is something that should be mentioned often so more people can hear of it. Because collectively, we have a better chance of discussing and coming up with solutions rather than not knowing of the problem until it's too late. I feel as though the general population is somewhat protected from a lot of this kind of potentially unsettling news. Or it is just simply not mentioned enough by most news outlets. We often get distracted and caught up in the drama and politics of day-to-day -day life. We forget to think about what will happen to the future generations. It is a shame that those in power do not shed more light on these issues and help work towards solutions. The fact that many politicians simply do not trust or listen to the community of scientists who directly study these topics and try to give us warnings paints a pretty dark future for humanity. Now I certainly don't want to get preachy and sit here telling you what to do, because this is a problem that humanity is going to have to face together. For now, I will leave a link in the description to an article which discusses ways in which we could help face this water crisis. But if you have any ideas or any thoughts about today's topic, I would love to hear about them in the comment section below. Until next time, take care and be well.